think we're lacking something. I might switch it up a bit, lads. Here, Jack, fair play today, but. Oh, nice work. Oh, cheers, lads. Oh, really, really, really appreciate the opportunity. I, I won't miss it. Hold that thought, Grass. I think we need some fresh legs. Do you mind? Off you pop. Good work. Good nice work. one, mate. Well done, mate. Go on, on your bike. Cheers, Jack. Good man. Grand. Well, that wasted a bit of time, didn't it? Yeah. Sweet. Didn't mug Graz off at all, did we? No. Hello and welcome to Dream Team Coach TV with Betway. I'm Sean Burke. Joining me is Andy Taylor, Dream Team Coach Nick Elliott, and the editing Ederson, Jack Townsend. Oh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. What was that? Uh, you're an editor. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery word game is still going, so if you don't want to know what it is and you want to play along, look away now. Okay? Look away. Nick wants to play, obviously. Who's got the word then, I'd say? Who's got the word? It's got you written all over it. As of recording, it looks very likely that former gunner Mikel Arteta will become the new Arsenal manager. It's a choice that has some fans very pleased, as he's somebody who knows the club. In that case, I presume his backroom staff will also include Doris the Dinner Lady and Barry the Caretaker. The Caretaker, for <laughs> sake! And Barry the Caretaker. Lads, Arteta, good or bad choice of manager? We don't know, do we? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, um, I can certainly see the theory. That, we do like, know. <laughs> I, I, I can we certainly know see can the you read, what's, his, what's his managerial CV looking like? Well, I'm Let saying, me know. because we don't know, there's a, like, no, we if, do know though, because there isn't one. Yeah, but if he is a Pep clone, mm. right? He's been studying under him. If if he has like you know mm -hmm. been studying and he's able to take the same thing and translate it, then that, I can see where they're going with that. But yeah. we don't know whether he's able to do that or not. You've got to start somewhere. Yeah. And why not start at a sort of a lower tier club? <laughs> <laughs> Less pressure. Yeah. Or no expected silverware. He's Spanish. He's got to be good. Here yeah. we go. You Are know you what I mean. To, He's got, a, he's got, a, <laughs> his name's got a bit of flair. He's if not, he's, if he's his not, name was Michael Arnott, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't have a chance. Exactly. <laughs> it's true though. It is honestly. If that, if that, if he was English, if that was, or well, Steve Bold, yeah, no one would give a toss, would they? They'd be like, oh, what are you getting bold in for? Oh, it's the Spanish Mikel Arteta, yeah, yeah. and he's going to play nice football. So, Steve oh, amazing. Bold. But like, how far can we take that? Do you know what I mean? It's like everyone's, play, all of these top players have played under good managers, mm -hmm. and they've worked around them. There's a difference between playing under a top manager and being their second in command. And yeah, like, I mean, he, I mean he, he's he's being deliberately mentored by Pep. Like, like. Tony Adams played under Arsene Wenger, you know, and he's not a good manager. Mm. I don't know. Do you not remember his little? <laughs> yeah, well, that worked out <laughs> so well. Pioneering stuff. I'd like to think their main thinking is, it, we can't get Guardiola, but this is the next best thing. So yeah. Like, I can I can at least see their thinking. It might not work at all, but I yeah. can at least see their thinking. I just don't get how you can go from having no experience to getting one of the best jobs in English football. I just feel like but in any other form of life, if you go in, I, I wouldn't be able to become like CEO of Asda with like no previous experience. <laughs> but that's essentially what he's doing. <laughs> I've, word, I've, Asda. I've, yeah. No, no, no? I, no, it's not Asda. Uh, but like, I could, like, it's basically, I've worked on the shop floor at Asda for a year Make him CEO. I mean, you <laughs> might as well. He's worked in the company. Well, not even that. He's he, worked in the company. He's worked in the shop floor of Sainsbury's. Of Sainsbury's. And Asda have gone yeah. to the top one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's basically, I mean, would, would, you, would you be happy with that yeah. as, a, as a someone no, who shops at Sainsbury's? I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Maybe, like, if you went to, like, a championship club or something. Yeah. I just then, or even a bit lower than that. And then Arsenal went, actually, he actually looks like he's implementing some mm -hmm. of Pep's methods yeah. and he's doing all right. So I guess it is, it's much more of a risk, yeah. Sure. It's not because it's not just about the coaching of the players. It's like everything that comes with that, the media, uh, how you like the man management of them, like the one on one with the players and all that sort of stuff, how you deal with the board, how you deal with the fans. Like there's so many elements to being a manager than just, oh, he plays nice football in training and he's learnt it from Pep. So, But Pep's not just a great coach. Like it, There's the whole package of Pep. And that's what I just don't think we, that's what no one seems to be understanding here. We've made a compilation of some other people who know the club, but sadly weren't considered for the manager's job. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Massive job. Yeah. Oh, such, such so knowing the club's such a, an integral part. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, yeah. chair on the pitch there. Um, these lads. Oh, kissing the badge, she's got to get it. Okay. Oh, hey. 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 <laughs> to say I know the club feels like an exaggeration. <laughs> yeah. I know of. 
So we're putting together our Premier League Team of the Decade, but because we do things a little bit differently here at Dream Team, we're picking our worst team of the decade. Let's start with goalkeeper. I'd go uh, uh, another Liverpool player, Mignolet. Mignolet. Yeah. He played, what did he do? He played oh 245 games, yeah. conceded 311 and 18 errors. 311 18 goals. errors, quite 18, 18 errors. errors. Led to goals. Yeah, and he uh, scored zero goals. I mean, if you're not scoring, <laughs> oh, well, come on. He's got to pitch in. <laughs> so, one thing I would say about getting to work, I don't think you could have had a good season. Now, Mignolet did have a good season at Sunderland. That's how he got the yeah. move to Liverpool. And I think if you've had a good season, I don't think you can get in the here's, worst here's team. Here's the West Ham. Who's in coming? Roberto? He was my number one, yeah. In this season. I actually can't think of a keeper that's been like lambasted yeah. as much as I, him. I don't know if it's just like, you know, recency bias because he's been seen in recent weeks. But yeah. he, he was he literally just made an error every time. He, he looked came like to he's him. never been a goal in his life. Yeah. He's just like, just chucked him some goals. So those are the two, like someone who is just yeah. genuinely bad and then some Mignolet who like mm -hmm. could have been good, should have maybe been good, and then suddenly just like wasn't you know yeah. so, got shown up by See, I, I, I don't think, think we're gonna longevity wise then it should be Mignolet. Longevity yeah. I suppose. All right, uh, just a, I I think we have managed by De Boer after his spell at Palace. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. I mean that was That's one of the fair. worst I mean they lost about eight in a row or something. I think, did, yeah, did he get I don't know if I'm misremembering. Did, did he just lose every game? And I think so. Back? And then just, yeah, so, yeah, just, yeah, just like, yeah. And then good. Hodgson came in and <laughs> just ended the shit. <laughs> so I've got a passionate one that I think has to get in there. Yeah. Roger Johnson. Roger Johnson. <laughs> he like basically took our club down. <laughs> 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 and, and and got paid sixty grand for the benefit of it as well. So yeah, Roger Johnson armband of like. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm happy with that. I could do that. I right. think we, if we're going to do a worst defence of the decade, it'd actually be insulting if we didn't have at least fifty percent Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I know we have a look go at Arsenal, but I think even Arsenal fans would admit. Look, you've got oh, so I, I've got an Arsenal. I'll start left back. I'll go Andre Santos, yeah. who who capped it all off by. Swapping shirts with Van Persie at half time. Oh, do you remember that? When it was United that. Arsenal. And they obviously, Arsenal fans absolutely give it to Van Persie <laughs> after he snaked him. Santos has swapped shirts with him at half time. Oh, yeah, I've got another centre half, and I know it's not another recent one, but it's uh, that Le Marchand from Fulham. I've year. got him. Have you? <laughs> I've got him, but do you know what? I've stuck him out on the right. He, Have did, you? he did actually play a couple of games at fullback as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I just agree think with that. Fulham, that, that defence last year at Fulham is one of the worst defences I think I've ever seen yeah, in Premier League yeah. history, and he was at the heart of that. I've, so I've shifted him out right because I've got uh, Squalacci. So I've yes. got Squalacci as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice it. I was hoping to say that. I've never seen a player look so permanently dizzy. He played like he just come off uh, Helter Skelter. I mean, yeah, he, the yeah, whole yeah. time he was just com so confused. The uh, Martian, uh, Squalacci, <laughs> Johnson, Santos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty strong, uh, yeah. as in pretty terrible. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, on to our midfield. Will we do a 4 3 3 again? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Liverpool, Stuart Downing. When, it, when he went 36 games and did zero assists. That was my favourite. Zero, zero, zero goals, goals zero, zero assists, assists in the whole in the whole season. Yeah, what a hero. D it was Suarez playing at that time I think as well. So, yeah, yeah. so he's like he's not like. You've done well to not yeah. to not yeah. accidentally yeah. assist Suarez. <laughs> <laughs> like that, like that, yeah. It's harder not to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So that that is pretty nuts. Yeah. I, again, this is another recent one, but Almiron from Newcastle. Mm -hmm. I'm not having him at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you can go like 40 games in this league without doing anything as a, as a forward, I just think it's just, he just looks like he's lost little boy on the ball every time he picks it up. I'm like- That says he got an assist a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, that was the first assist he's got since <laughs> he's come over <laughs> for like 40 million. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of Newcastle in midfield, I think. I went for uh, Tovan, only because do you remember he came over, he was really bad, went back to Marseille, and now he's got a World Cup winners medal. He's got to go in France's squad. But during that yeah. time in Newcastle, he was just yeah. And, it, and that makes you think it must have been Newcastle's fault. Yeah. He had a what World Cup winner. Like, I've got Jamie O'Hara. Oh, poor Jamie. <laughs> I'm not having Talk him again. He was Jamie just not don't having care. Him. Yeah, I like him at Talksport. I like him what what his chat's all about. <laughs> but as a Wolves player. He will, he, I'm sh I hope he would admit it himself that he's had an absolute shocker. <laughs> <laughs> and again, someone who just played grossly for what he contributed to, to the club. And, and also, I know it's a vested interest, but like that mentality took us down to League One. That's how bad they were. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was like that attitude stunk the whole club out. Um, All right, for that, I'll give you that. If you got you relegated twice, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you have very hard, yeah. Uh, and then I also had uh, Renato Sanchez. Yeah, I got my Sanchez, for, yeah. for When he came on loan to Swansea. Yeah, and the best yeah. thing he did was pass to the advertising hall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can get a little screenshot of that. That's, <laughs> that's one of the best things that happened. Okay. So what should I go? Sanchez, O'Hara, 
And, and uh, one more space, Almiron. Yeah, go on yeah, then. Yeah. 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 There's going to be some anchor Newcastle fans about that. No, but yeah. I mean, stats don't lie. Right, forwards. Fal- I've got, I've got, uh, yeah. Surely Falco. Falco. For Falco. the money. Yes. Yeah, he was. Two clubs as well, wouldn't it? It's yeah, just like United out. and Chelsea. Again, in terms of expectation. Mourinho thinking, oh, yeah, no, I can fix him. Mm. Yeah, Do you know what? I've just feel, I feel slightly unfair on the lad because like, it was basically knee injuries. He that hadn't killed recovered him. from his knee injury. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, mm. whereas I'm looking at someone like uh, Lamar Shan, I'm like, he looks like he's playing with an ACL. Like, it, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's, he's that bad. He's, <laughs> like, I thought maybe Zaza, <clears throat> who <laughs> came and played half a dozen, uh, dozen games and, and didn't Picky even on. Do you remember Picky on? Picky on, yeah. <laughs> West Ham had absolutely nightmare. Outer door, shows the outer door. And him, Sunderland. Yeah, Played yeah. 70 games, I think. Scored two goals oh, as a genuine on. forward. That's mad, that is. That's pretty bad. I think that's worthy of inclusion. Yeah. One that fits every bill in terms of bad attitude, bad player, bad goal scoring record, Sido Berahino. Mm-hmm. Berahino, yeah. I just think for mm. like the attitude of him is terrible. He's just an absolute scumbag, isn't he? No, yeah. Well, Berahino, Altidore, Zaza. Yeah, okay. that's, that's getting you no goals. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, if you wanted to pick a thing like, get out there and no goals. That's <laughs> yeah. it. So there's a chance yeah. Belkow will just be in a good position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. score because he's yeah. actually all right. Yeah. But those three have got no hope. Yeah. <laughs> and let us know in the comments below who would be in your worst team of the decade. Uh, but actually, I think this is probably the worst team of the decade. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Is that from Monday night? Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Probably agree. That actually yeah. gazumps us, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It's an easy gag. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the word has been said, by the way. Oh. oh. It's the dankest part of the week. The lads submit a football meme to the Dream Team Instagram page, and you folks get to vote on your favourite. Producer Graz, take it away. All right. Yeah. It's, it, I, it's an old. <laughs> It, I was in a rush this week. <laughs> That's what I was. That's what I, was, was, for, I, was yeah. I was in a rush. It's an old. It's an old format, and I'm probably. I'm pretty sure it's going to have got slated in the comments for, <laughs> for being an old format. And um, next up, yeah, nice video. Sh- on. This sh- video is sh- spectacular. Sh- Look at that. What? Uh, what's going on? These two women <laughs> not moving yeah, at the front. Yeah, they couldn't give too far. I thought it fit quite well. And actually, There's so much going on. Yeah. Okay, and last meme, I presume this is Nick's. This is, this me, this yeah. is very dank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Again, good source photo. Great source photo. I've been, this has been on my desktop for about two months. <laughs> thinking, when can I get it out? Uh, yeah, and also I was just writing about Jack Wilshire at the time, and I just, uh, sorry, not Jack, Wilshire, yeah, Grealish. Really. <laughs> Same energy, those two. And I just thought, What's, what, does, what goes in? What are the ingredients of a Jack Wilshire? Jack Grealish! I can you're in! Oh, yeah. Well, can this oh, be a new yeah. forfeit? <laughs> we'll get yeah. this as a new forfeit. Oh, that's got to do that. Yeah. It's quite good, actually, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to just say me in third yeah. place? Well, hold, out, hold those horses, please, Jack. <laughs> in third place is. Andy Taylor. Oh, <laughs> wow! No. Wow! What were you thinking? Cheers, How Henry. That Cheers, Henners. <laughs> okay, so in first place is is Nick. First. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Second place, Jack. Hard luck. That That's the first time hard. in months you've won, isn't I'd it? I'd like to see that. You know, it's a it's an Aston Villa yeah. player. It's not it's not a top six team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, bit, yeah. yeah. bit more niche, a bit more dank. A bit more niche, a bit more dank. A bit more dank, 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 dank. Very nice. Yeah, well, okay. Fair play. There are a couple of big matches this weekend with Man City versus Leicester and Tottenham v Chelsea. But we're going to focus on the man who still manages to be the biggest cock in Spurs Stadium despite the 14-foot one on the roof. Jose Mourinho. You lads have prepared some stats. Two true, one false. And I have to guess which is which. <clears throat> Take it away, fellas. All right, then. Okay, so I'll go first. Okay, so Jose Mourinho was known for... Um, Notoriously known for not playing young players. Yeah. But when he came to Chelsea, his first season when he won the league title, the average age of that squad was the second youngest in the league. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, okay. okay. Right. I'll say that uh, this season, mm-hmm. Chelsea have already lost more home games than Sari did all last season. When Mourinho was a Chelsea manager, he played Spurs 16 times mm-hmm. and never lost one. Right off the bat, <laughs> I'm thinking when, Chelsea, when he originally became Chelsea manager, he had Ari and Robin in the team, Damien Duff, Adrian Mutu. They were all early 20s, I think. So I think that's true. I'm going to say true, true, false. 
I am false. No. Did you, you like, lost the Spurs? You like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. You so lost, they, they, they did lost twice. They only lost okay. twice. So it's still, it was still a fairly yeah. decent record. Out of six, it's a good record out of what, 16? 16 <laughs> games, yeah. yeah. Still pretty good, yeah. But so yeah, this season they've lost, Chelsea have lost three at home. And quite, su- quite surprisingly, yeah. they only lost one home game last season. Wow. I remember last season I was a big Sari fan. And do you know what? I was, I'm going back on <laughs> it. He was cruelly treated. It's time to look at your weekender teams. And because we're not going to be recording again until the new year, we're going to do it for the next couple of weekends of fixtures. Uh, so weekender team is made up of a goalkeeper, two defenders, two midfielders, and two strikers from that weekend's games. Right. Take it away, producer Graz. This yeah. is me. Nice. This is me. So... Uh, go on. Well, Tot Spurs got Chelsea and Norwich, I believe. Yeah. Um, so Kane and Ali just seem to be back to their mm. old selves yes. again. Both good records hey. against Chelsea. Next up. Next team. Yeah, well, I didn't read the email and I didn't know we were doing two weekends. So I'm really <laughs> going to hope that this, this lot <laughs> cash in this weekend. <laughs> and I don't know who they're playing the weekend after, but hopefully it's a load of losers. Um, we've also got Liverpool away. <laughs> <laughs> tasty. I mean, we probably actually can't win that. Yeah. 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 Tasty, tasty in that one. Fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> got so, let's see Andy's team. Okay, uh, I've gone for Kane and Ali like like Jack did. Uh, I've stuck to the I've stuck to the rules of having one player from those top three sides, which Jack top three has it. was top four or top four. We haven't got any Leicester players, so what you want? What are you whining about? No, but I'm no, but I'm just saying I haven't got more than one. Yeah, okay. Don't forget to submit your own weekender team. So download the Dream Team app, submit your seven, and you could earn some real money. Just make sure you do it before the weekend's fixtures. We'll uh, check in on those picks in the new year when we record the next episode. So, on to the results from last week's Weekender. The moment we've all been waiting for. This year, we've made a loser board to help decide which forfeit is carried out. We've got six options. Red arse, slap in the face, walk on Lego, substitution, cinnamon challenge, and fancy dress. Let's see how you fared. 20 points. Oh, three. De Bruyne, oh, super. Wow. He's God. absolutely <laughs> saved so you. He's, he's literally doing all the work mm. for me there. Um, hey, 23 points. Oh, oh, Jesus. More spread out, but nobody. No. I don't think I've got this, boys. Ooh. I know. Yeah, I've, I had Salah, but I don't think I had anything Salah, else. Salah, I had three yeah. Leicester defenders. Oh, also. Okay, then. Let's find out. Let's see Andy's team. Oh. Yes! Come on! Uh, our loser of the week this time is Serie A. Uh, if you don't already know why, recommend you Google it. Yeah. Monumental f*** up there. Uh, the mystery word was said. Uh, it was said by Nick. And of it course. was Helter Skelter. Oh, well done. When talking about Skelter. Yeah, Skelter plays like he's dizzy. Like he's been on, yeah. come off a Helter Skelter. Skelter. Mm. Very well played. Okay, we've got, a, we've got a, an, a, an array of options we've gone through there. Last week, uh, Nick had to do Red Arse. And somebody suggested that if that happens again, we should just call it Nicky Buff. Very good. good. Makes it's very smooth. good. It flows. Beautiful suggestion. That's good. Okay, Jack. I hand it over to you. <sighs> come on. VAR review. Okay. Cinnamon. Cinnamon! Cinnamon! Yes! It's been a long it's been time. Yes. It has been oh, a my long old time friend time Cinnamon. <laughs> oh, you do you, hun. <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to heat that on. Pro- get it right do the on there. For I'm, you. Not, I'm not having Andy anywhere near. Uh, right on there, honestly. I mean, way what? more than that. Mine was, mine was heaped. Mine oh, was no, way that's, more. That's, that's good. Loads. That's good. That's loads. Oh, oh, I God. don't know about that. That is a lot. Really? Yeah. I don't think so, mate. I think you need a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jack. you would say I'm sorry, that. Jack. I just... Right, okay. No, you're done. You're done. <laughs> right, that, right, right there, you're there, done. there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, honestly, my throat is having like flashbacks to it. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it in my throat. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh hello. <laughs> Tactical. Oh, my accident. Tactical. Oh, that's a shame. All right. All right, All right Jack. Jack. Well, it's not going to die. It's been nice knowing you, Sean and Nick. <laughs> 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 For the record, I won't be sad. Bottoms up. All right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Puff of smoke there. <laughs> He's loving it. Oh, how does it feel? Oh. Is it forming a paste? Oh. Is it forming a paste? Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what am I going to do with it? Just, he's he's handling it. it pretty well, oh, i got to say. Just chew it. Just chew oh, it God. It, Jack, your eyes are watering. Get it all down, mate. No, we've got to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole point. That's the challenge. Swallow. Swallow. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Has he done it? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! That's good. That's so right. you know, I think he's done it way better than me because I just went, I just swallowed it straight off, whereas you've chewed it a bit. Oh, hang on! <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak too soon. <laughs> you've chewed it a bit, though. That was the key. Oh, that, that's what you're supposed to do, I think. Oh, he actually got through it fairly that's well. That's good effort. Fair play, Jack. Hold on. That's how a man does it. <laughs> Survives another day. <laughs> 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 well that's all from us folks uh, we'll be back again next week with a Christmas episode and after that we'll have a best bits episode in the new year but thank you for joining us on Dream Team Coach TV with Betway we'll see you again in the new year maybe maybe yeah. if that's about.